That was Black Flag with the Swinging Man off of their 1984 album, My War. Uh, that's one album I've been meaning to get uh, digested, but I haven't really listened to much Black Flag. Um, which is weird. I, I like Henry Rollins a lot, but I haven't really listened to much Henry Rollins either. Huh. Oh, well. We'll listen to that today because we have a song from the Butthole Surfers from 1984 today. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 82 of the Butthole Surfers Tournament. And if you're not familiar with the Butthole Surfers Tournament, basically what we did was we took every single Butthole Surfers track, threw it into a single elimination-style tournament, and then we make them fight head-to-head -head until we know which song is the best Butthole Surfers song ever. We're on round three right now, so we've got uh, two rounds that we already went through. Um, the two songs today have defeated others, uh, at least one other song to get here. <clears throat> and these songs are nine years apart. First up, we have Wooly Bully, which is track four off of Psychic, Powerless, Another Man's Sack, their 1984 debut full-length LP. And uh, that one actually fought through, uh, let's see, that one actually had to defeat the Weird Revolution for me in my tournament. Um, I know that uh, Pat... Also, or no, I know that Cam also picked Wooly Bully, so his, his uh, tournament looks the same as mine in this bracket. But Pat chose the Weird Revolution, which I used to love the Weird Revolution when I was a kid, but it just felt, I don't know, kind of forced this time for me. Definitely wasn't as good as Wooly Bully to me. I can't remember what Wooly Bully sounded like, though. And that's going up against some dispute over t-shirt sales which is off of their 1993 album, Independent Worm Saloon. And uh, this one is another one I can't really remember. I know it has a lot of nonsensical lyrics, but uh, it actually had a pretty easy track so far in the uh, tournament. Like, it got by the first round with just a bye, and its only competition so far was Beat the Press. So in order to get to this point in the tournament, this song sat around for the first tournament and then had to beat a track where... Um, Someone just vomited. There was multiple vomiting tracks layered on top of each other, actually. Um, and I still swear I've got to be the only person online to have reacted to Beat the Press. Check that video out if you have not seen a person on YouTube react to such an occurrence. It's wild. You know me. Woo! Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First up, we have Wooly Bully. We've heard both of these once already in the tournament. Now it's time to put them up against each other and see how that goes. Here's Wooly Bully.
I just love like unhinged Gibby. <laughs> Shit is hilarious to me. Um, yeah, that's super cool. It's kind of like a honky tonk sound a little bit. Um, I don't know if you'd call that like uh, psycho Billy or what, because it's definitely like kind of a honky tonk rock and roll sound with like a punk rock edge, but it's definitely not what I think of when I think of things like psycho Billy or uh, even God rockabilly. Definitely not rockabilly. I don't know. I'm not too good with uh, Psycho Billy, though. I don't really know the genre. I kind of uh, avoid things that involve 1950s aesthetics. It's not true, but it's not my jam. Um, if someone wants to educate me on that sound and let me know if that sounds anything like Psycho Billy, if that does, maybe I need to check it out. <laughs> Just let me know if you guys are, like, advocates of Psycho Billy. And you really need me to hear it. Um, so, that's going up against some dispute over t-shirt sales. I don't know, I remember. I swear that uh, Independent Worm Saloon album is all about infectious guitar riffs. And that was another one that just that man, I got to get it really sticks with you. Um, who knows what the fuck you was saying, though? Definitely like a pretty cool song. Nonsense lyrics, super fun. Um, just get down, rock and roll. Fuck yeah, type song. But I think for that one, for me anyway, I'm going to go with Wooly Bully. Has a lot more of that hardcore punk guitar um, that I really love, like that 1980s hardcore punk guitar. That shit always kills me. I love that honky tonk sound to it. Um, and his wavering, crazy, unhinged vocals. I mean, he's yelling a lot in here, and there's a whole lot of gibberish, but he's keeping it together compared to what you hear in um, Wooly Bully, I think, anyway. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, if we could talk about it though, if you want to, we've got uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all sorts of social media going on. There's a uh, Reddit, there's a uh, TikTok. You'll find us on all of them, um, even on Discord a little bit here and there. I think we're everywhere. Just check us out. Uh, I do link the songs down below so you can check them out on their own if you'd like to. Along with the Swinging Man by Black Flag, you'll be able to listen to the whole song if you'd like to. Um, Gonna have to do a Black Flag tournament one of these days. That's gonna be a fun one. I also link the tournaments down below, so you can check those out if you'd like to. Um, just click the link, and it'll bring you right to the bracket. And you, you could zoom around and look around the whole bracket and see what we've done before, see what's coming up. Or you can uh, keep up to date in real time. I do uh, update it daily. 
Also, we have a uh, we've got a Cash App and we've got Venmo, so feel free to throw us a little bit of uh, love that way if you'd like to. That's up to you, really. I just don't make any money on these videos, and neither does my buddy Cameron, and we work hard on them. So you know, it'd be cool to see a little bit of a uh, you know, that's uh clicky sounds. <laughs> Like this video if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you think this is a cool concept and you want to see more battles, more bands battling themselves. Um, and, you know, we've got other more bands battling themselves, and then we've got also just, uh, you know, a lot of fun in the comments. Feel free to join us down there, too. Uh, let me know which one you would have picked, but also just kind of join in with the, the other wacky characters we've accumulated down in the comments section. Um, Gordon Fong in particular is very consistent with, uh, I don't even know what to say. Gordon Fong, that guy's a unit. Um, share this video with your friends and family if you'd like to, and, uh, tell them that we're totally not a cult. That's all the butthole surfers I have for you today, and if you'd like to, uh, join us for the Beatles stuff, um... If you if you are a subscriber, you don't really have a choice because, like, we're not a cult, but come on, guys. Have a nice night, a wonderful afternoon, and a fantastic morning. I'll see you in just a couple minutes for those Beatles videos. Bye. So I fit, and that and that one's gonna be pretty punk rock. I figured, why not keep keep the punk rock a flowing? You know, when you'll be able to listen to that. Why are you not playing?